Hi, I'm Heather Smith and I'm here with Kevin Fitzgerald um, and today we're going to talk about 20 trends changing the world of work and transforming the nature of careers in accountancy and how the accounting community can turn them to their advantage. Trend number 11, CV rest in peace. The future CVs focus on skills attained, not job titles acquired. Um, and this is something I totally believe in. Just go for those skills. Yeah. And I, I haven't worked in recruitment for three and a half years. Individuals write CVs to really, you know, show progression and that they've done really well. Um, and it's, it's, they're, they're, they can be quite generic. So I used to see maybe 80 to 100 CVs a week when I worked um, in Robert Walters and I could see the format was the same, especially if people were coming out of order, it was exactly the same. And there was no, there was no flavor to it. So it, it really was difficult for me to determine, okay, well, like what skills do you have? Not what have you actually done? You know, it's a list of tasks basically. And um, it was amazing the amount of times that I had to like, you know, encourage someone or coach them on rewriting their CV because they would tell me things that weren't on the CV because they sat down to write their CV to impress. And it was more related to progression to, to show seniority and experience, but it had less about skills and, you know, wins and achievements. And it was, it was a very interesting um, world to live in when I've seen so many CVs and then you see the new style and people have pictures and different things and charts and I, I think CVs need to go like I think um, I think it's really getting to know the person I would love to see you know a one page or half page content description of me this is what I can do and it would be fascinating if they never said where they worked right like I, mm. I think that would be a really a uh, funny way to actually present yourself to a business say I can do a b and c if you need me to do these jobs this is where I'm really proficient and less about the bias of the brand that you've worked in because we're seeing this now on LinkedIn um, so many people in their titles are putting x you know x big business x big business I used to work here I'm like what like that's nothing about your skills yes like that's about you know, it's, ba it's nearly like I know this person, you know, and it's not good enough, I think, for accountants to have that. Like, I think they need to be talking about um, skills they've attained, businesses, how they've helped them, whether that's in growth or turnaround or, or coaching SME. Got time, CVs will really start um, to die off. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, you raised some really good points there. And um, to add to that, I also think um, the, the, the work that you're doing outside maybe of your career may also be you can bring that mm. to the uh, profile. So, for instance, I, during my university years, worked at every restaurant on the Gold Coast. Um, so I had excellent customer facing skills. I, you know, I could talk to anyone underwater um, and those sorts of skills bring them into an accounting world are really important. So if you, uh, whatever you're doing, whether it be um, leading scout groups or leading tours or, or other activities or volunteering, which is very important, highlight the skills that are coming um, from that uh, as, as we, we've discussed. Yeah. And I think, I think Heather, like, I think there's, it will work both ways. So hiring managers need to understand that they might have a bias towards, you know, where someone has worked rather than what they've learned you know and it's we we used to test some of this when i when i worked at um robert walters was remove the name of the company where somebody worked you know and see would that cv have attraction you know um and it was funny it, it, sometimes you took the, the name of the company off and they would say oh, i'm not really interested because they read some of the tasks and they were like i'm not that impressed but if they saw that they worked at a business that was quite similar to theirs in a similar role that was a safety hire, mm. you know, they'd actually say, okay, yeah, we should hire this person. Mm. And they, they didn't really look at the skills. You know? mm. Yeah. Um, I, I do know of someone who says he actually um, delivers a, a, a graphic. It's a, mm -hmm. just a sort of a, a made up visual graphic of, of his resume rather than a, uh, like an infogram of his yeah, resume yeah. rather than a uh, actual resume. So something for the accountants to think about who are hiring, mm -hmm. different options there, um, and something for the accountants to think about if they're actually looking for jobs.